Ay. Ay. Okay. Ay. Yo, what up, y'all? Welcome back to the Scotty Show. Tonight, man, I got I got self-made Sav. Not in the motherfucking building, but he with us right now, bro. Well, well, how, how you feeling? How you feeling, homie? I feel good as fuck, bro. What about you? Man, I'm feeling great, bro. You know, I'm chilling, bro. I, I got me some, some some tequila, bro, and a little coffee mug, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? I I just just split right here. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Um, for the people that don't know who Self Made Sav is, man, who, who, who Sav? Man, that's it. Uh, Sav is a. That's a hard question, bro. Sav is a. Sav is an artist, an underground artist that's been around for a long time. And has and is evolving and, and, and making his way in the underground scene and, and trying to make it a, a good situation for itself. Hell yeah, I feel that, bro. Like when when I heard you on uh, High Seas Project, bro, when you said, "Bro, that made me turn you to a myth," I was like, "Yo, that's one of the hardest <laughs> bars I've ever heard Appreciate so it, bro. far." I like. Yeah. When I watched that shit, I was like, hell yeah, I'm glad somebody here. Yeah, bro, like, like, like that shit was crazy. I was like, when you said, don't make me tell you to a myth, I was like, oh, damn. I was like, I ain't never heard a nigga say no shit like that, bro. That shit was, <laughs> that shit was crazy, bro. Like, and, um, Thank you, bro. yeah, man, so, like, like, how did, like, you know, that all happen, when, you know, working with, like, high scene and stuff? Like, how, how that, you know, like. All right, so, I ain't never met high scene, like, personally, in, in real life yet. But, like, so, I'm, I'm from Texas. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm actually from Oklahoma, but I moved here from Texas in California, L.A. and shit. Mm -hmm. And I ended up meeting my best friend and shit. Like, my best friend was, like, a one of the first persons to be posting my shit on IG. Like, yo, this nigga, like, he hard. Like, just rapping my shit, you know, in the video on stories and stuff. And I'm yeah. like, who is this dude? Oh, like, and then I just ended up DMing him one day. He was like, yo, bro, if you ever moved to Cali, fuck with me. Tap in. And I was like, all right. So I was like, damn, I got to go to Cali one day. I, I, I already planned on it. So when I came out here, I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to hit bro up. Let me see what you on. Linked up with him and shit and just got close with him and shit. And um, he had a homie named High C and my homie named 10K Summer. Mm. And he was just basically just showing me that shit. He was like, bro, you, you got potential. I fuck with your shit. I see what you're doing and this and that, bro. You should link up with these dudes. These my homies. I'm trying to put y'all together. So, you know I linked up with 10K along with my brother 10K somewhere, and then now it's like it hasn't happened in person, but it, it, it it's high C happening now. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. oh, I, we, I've always known about him, or he's always heard about me, but now we finally like Link engaging with shit. each other. Yeah, yeah, like so, yeah. I was supposed to go to a show the last time he came in here, but I couldn't make it. But I'm pretty sure soon we're gonna link up in person. Yeah, man, like that definitely has to happen. I, I fuck with how. Like, and that's, like, one of the things I like about, like, the underground, like, the parts about the underground is people, like, linking up, working together and stuff. And, like, you yeah, know, bro. It, it only makes it even bigger. Like, you give the fans what yeah. they want. You're giving the fans yeah, no of the cap. underground what they want, bro. And, like, that's how you, like, build your longevity is build those kind of relationships and stuff. Like, people Facts. don't, people don't understand even, that. Yeah, I, I, I've been on high, about high C since, like, fucking... LSD on my tongue video, like watching this yeah. nigga on that video and shit, bro. He like, yeah, bro, this is him right here, and I'm just like, yo, this nigga hard, bro. Like, you mm -hmm. know, just it just happens. You're not regular. You know? It's not regular. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with it, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So how'd you get like, uh, like you know, into music? Like, when did you start making it? Uh, pretty much, I've been making music my whole life and shit. Um, I just been like, all I don't fully know what brought me to music, bro can say that like Lil Wayne yeah Lil like, Wayne. I always like oh yeah I always bro, like the, the music, drought bro, like the, the, the drought mixtapes yeah. and all that bro Everything, come on bro yeah, yeah like Lil Wayne Everything. is honestly Lil Wayne is like the catalyst to like all this shit right here right now you know what I'm honestly saying? bro and it's like once I got like I started I always just like music like lyrically like damn that shit was hard what he just say and I always be like yeah this shit fire and Wayne mm. always delivered that so like once I started hearing him use auto tune after T Pain and shit. I was just like, "Yo, bro, like this nigga taking like nobody saying what he's saying in a singing way." So I was like, "Damn, what if I get on auto tune one day? You know, and say some crazy shit." So that's when I started doing it. Originally, I was just doing rap music because I didn't know or have access to auto tune. You know, yeah, yeah. So eventually, I started getting more into music, and then it just went from there. Mm -hmm. 
Dude, that's that's fire, man. Um, so so like the move from like Oklahoma to like Texas to Cali, bro. Like, mm-hmm. what was that shit like, bro? Like that, that sounds pretty crazy. Like like that sounds so crazy going from like Oklahoma to Texas to Cali. Yeah. Bro. Like there's there there gotta be some stories, bro. Like there's some. So like <laughs> so like as growing up and shit, bro. Like I didn't really have like I knew my family and shit like that, but I was a foster kid at the same time. So, like, yeah. I was always in, like, different foster homes and shit like that. So, mm-hmm. I, I had a little bit more freedom than what other people you you, you would say, you know? Because, like, sometimes they would care, but sometimes they wouldn't give a fuck, mm-hmm. you know? So, like, it's like, I'm doing really what I want. So, really, I'm, I'm getting outside more and stuff like that and um, doing stuff and learning more a little bit quicker and things like that about life. Yeah. So, by the time I turned 18, I was already, like, uh, I got kicked out of high school around in the uh, twelfth grade, mm-hmm. and then um, I just moved to Texas. I moved to Texas. I had a little bit of family out there and shit like that. And then my own family that moved from Texas moved to California, um, and I stayed in Texas. And then a couple of years later, I just moved to Cali. And was like, you know what, fuck it, bro. I'm gonna move to Cali. Like that's that's where everything is. That's you know, like I was like, bro, this this is where I gotta be for what I want to do. That's crazy, bro. Like, and and bro, like. I, I know, like, a lot of people are probably telling you, bro, like, don't do that shit. Like, bro, you tweaking. Like, yeah. bro, like, and you still, like, you just did it, bro. And, like, and, like, you're trying to, like, make it work and you're trying to build and create, bro. And, like, a lot of yeah. people don't see, like, you know, like, the like the, the, the steps that actually take. People just see, like, the shit that motherfuckers post on Instagram and shit. Yeah. N- niggas don't really know. I had hard times behind this shit, bro. I've been outside and all type of shit, bro. I've had nowhere to go yeah. and, and everything, bro. I just, yeah. everything that I've built off of me. Um, just my foundation back out here in California is off of music and friends like that, you know, mm-hmm. like that's what literally saved me, my motherfucking talent. Yeah, bro, like people people don't realize like how much you actually have to put it you have to go all in with this shit. Like that's mm-hmm. like one you thing. Have to literally it's either you you if you're not down to struggle all the way to the to the maximum bro and know that eventually this shit gonna get better, you're gonna get around and just stay down or you're going to fold, bro. You're not going to be built for it. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy. You're not going to just get a deal or you're not going to link up with so-and-so tomorrow or yeah. just like that, you know? Yeah, you just gotta just keep on betting on yourself too, cause like people, people yeah, and just, believe in yourself. Yeah, yeah, people, people just be like waiting for another motherfucker to be like, yeah, bro, like you gotta create your own opportunities, and that's like what I, what I see that you doing for you, cause you moving out to Cali and then working on the music and shit like that, bro. Like, okay. and then hearing like hearing how fire your verse was, bro, I was like, yo, I gotta tap in with more of his music now. Like, that's why I'm glad. Thanks, I, bro. Yeah, bro, like I, I just like. That's like one thing that I like about listening to like an album, cause like the features that are on it, like down to like that, you know, like I look at like everything, bro, like every single mm-hmm. like little detail, and like just when, when a when a feature is just like so fire, bro, you just gotta like check out the artist like that, and I feel like you fulfilled like that task on that project. Yeah, that I shit. appreciate that, bro. Yeah, bro, I, mean, I didn't, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't even like, like I fucked with the song, but I didn't like my verse. I was like, damn, this shit could be better, but then. Yeah, like, bro, this shit hard as fuck, bro. You tell me, I'm like, all that right, shit crazy, you know? bro. Okay, that, shit was, that shit was crazy, bro. I was like, oh it's my. God. When you said, oh, maybe take you to a mill, bro, I was, I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I would, bro, you, bro, if I was in the studio, I would have been going crazy, bro. I would have been going, <laughs> hey, I would have been going crazy, bro. I been, nobody, nobody, nobody got to go crazy in that moment because I was recording my own music, too. Damn, bro, that's crazy, bro. That's fire. It's so you record crazy, yourself bro. and everything, bro? Like, you just do everything? That's crazy. I do everything, everything except for the cover arts and music videos. That's crazy, man. So I do everything else, bro. I, I record uh, everything. I don't make beats. I don't produce stuff. So, um, but I, I do record everything, master everything, and all that. That's fire, man. So, uh, like when you first touched down in Cali, bro. Like, what, what's it like? Like, how you feeling? Like, what, what's it like, bro? Like when you first touched down in Cali, bro. All right. So when I first touched down in Cali, no cap. The first thing on my mind, I get here. The first time I came to Cali, because I went back to Texas for, like, I stayed the first time for six months. And then I came right, I went right back to Texas. Like, oh, no, I no shit within a couple of months. So, like, that's how that went. So, the first thing on my mind when I got here was, as soon as I get off this Greyhound, I need some treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, bro. For real. Got some tree. That was the first thing I got into. My my, my family picked me up, and I was like, I need some tree. And they already had it. I was like, yes, sir. Because by the time I got there, it was about like 4 in the morning. So yeah. it was already late and shit. But I was like, I need to see what that shit talking about right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Like, like, so have you been to California before you like moved there? Damn. So nah. like, so like, it was just like, was it like a big culture shock to you, bro? Like, was you like, damn, bro? Like, they doing this out here, they doing that out here? Like, uh, honestly, like, uh, what do you mean? Like, as far as how everything people are out here, and think yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Just like, cause like, like, yeah. bro, like, like the West Coast is just like, but like, you know, when it comes down to like gang shit, when it comes up the lingo, yeah. all that stuff, bro. Like it's just well, like a whole culture. Some of the stuff, you can't even wear certain hats out there, bro. <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> some stuff I was, bro. But it, it, like I'm not gonna lie, like when niggas move out of town to California and shit like that, like I feel like niggas know if they pay attention to the world, like mm-hmm. really know, bro. It's everything that is that that they portray it to be on TV, the good and the bad side. So yeah. I knew, okay, it's Hollywood shit and it's real bad shit out here. So, but when niggas got here, it was just kind of like damn like this shit is crazy like everything is like nigga even trees is is, is amazing trees shit. like <laughs> nigga never seen palm trees so yeah. even shit like that like everything is amazing bro it don't even matter when i first moved here i moved to the hood bro so it was like damn bro this shit just look crazy but i don't need to be like doing shit i ain't got no business doing you know but mm-hmm. it was just like people was taking me and shit like that but like as far as wearing what i wanted i didn't give a fuck about that shit at the moment yeah. I, you know it might have just because I did wear what I wanted to wear. Um, but it was just like, it's, only got it's, it's, just, it's just dangerous though. Like, I look at that yeah. as like, if I ever go out there, bro, like, I'm, I'm making sure that I'm, I don't want to put myself in a, and it's not like as like a scared factor, mm-hmm. but it's like a, just like, a, number one, it's a respect factor to me. Cause like it's there, it's there. You know they they from there. You know what I'm saying. So like yeah, and like and like and we, 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 though, we visitors. <laughs> you know yeah. And yeah. when you do move, bro, like when I first moved, I moved in like a blood neighborhood. So like when you first move, they don't recognize you and they get up on you. You just gotta like don't act all like jittery and like you like all nervous. Yeah, they gonna yeah. be like what the fuck like what. Like they really they coming at you aggressively, but that's just how they get down out here, bro. They that they never see you in their neighborhood. <laughs> That you moving in their neighborhood, yeah. you know, so they yeah. want to know who you are, what you got going. Why are you here? Okay, okay, you on game man? Then all right, we fuck, all right for sure. But when we see you, we gonna say what's up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just how it be, and just respect. That's just how it is over there. This they shit. Yeah. Bro, and like, and, and it's just like a safety factor too, bro. Like, you don't want to put yourself, mm-hmm. you don't want to fuck, you don't want to put yourself in a position to like get fucked over or anything like that, bro. Exactly, and like, bro. That's that's another thing. I I, I never like got. They built relationships with niggas and nothing like that. I see yeah. niggas and be like, "What's up?" and then just keep you pushing, bro. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, y'all. Yeah, bro. Niggas got goals to chase and like got got shit yeah. to do, bro. Like for real. So, um, so like you 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 you're you're in Cali, bro. And like, when is like the, what is the first song that you record in Cali? Damn. Uh. And what's the first studio? Oh, like, did you record yourself or did you go to the studio? The first song I recorded in Cali was this song called Let's Go. That shit not out on SoundCloud or anything. I'm just like, Archive, I still got the song. But um, that was like, at first I used to use, I've recorded myself all my life. But when I first started using auto-tune and like recording myself on the laptop, my quality was shitty. It was nothing like how it is now. Mm-hmm. So you could tell the potential was there, but it wasn't that good. So I actually went to the studio, paid for a song, and it came out good. And I had that shit for some months just sitting, you know, mm-hmm. and then um, I ended up getting a new laptop and just start recording more and more and more, and then, you know, bro, because i always just been consistent with music. Like, I have deep catalogs, bro. I got a song that's not out no more with A-Golf. I got, bro, I got a lot of shit, bro. It's like, I've really been doing it. I've been tapped in with this underground shit for so long. It's like, I can't really tell you my last story. Cause I got so many songs that I'd be like, yeah, this is too old. It's a new evolvement. Mm-hmm. Time to evolve. Got to go. Yeah. So like, you know, like being like just super tapped into the underground, like were you, were you like fucking with like, who were you like, like fucking with before you even like, you know, uh, started like making music and shit. Like were you fucking with, like Space Ghost mm-hmm. Perp, Xavier Wolf and all them, Raider Queen oh, and no, shit? no, 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 no. Just like, okay, honestly, bro, this, un- I'm going to tell you how I got into this underground shit for real. Okay. So at first I used to just, you know, Lil Wayne, like shit like that. Yeah. Whatever gangster shit is out at the moment, Same. but mainly Same. Lil Wayne. That's and, and, and Chief Keith for sure. But like one day, bro, I, I was just. This is when I was just doing rap music bars, no, no auto tune. Mm-hmm. I'm on SoundCloud, and one day, no cap, I, I'm just listening, and the shit just go to the next song. 
and Summers come on, like an old ass summer song though. Like when his shit was his quality wasn't that good, but it was, mm-hmm. you know, five. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, damn, who the fuck is this? Like, bro you know, auto tune and shit and like he, he going crazy. Like it took to me, I'm just like, what the fuck? So honestly, bro, and then I, I went to the shit and start finding the other ground or I just started listening over time. I started discovering other people and shit, bro. And I'm just like, bro, this is like twenty fifteen though. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, bro, yo, like, yo, like, I'm, 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 I'm looking at all this shit happening, front, discovering all these people, and I'm just like, I'm finna change my shit to like, I fuck with this. I'm, this is the land I want to be in. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. That's and that's how that happened. Uh, so ever since then, I've been underground. That's it. Did you ever fuck with like Lil Tracy or like Lil Peep in them? Did you ever listen to, like any yeah, shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. I used yeah, to always yeah. listen to that. I, I love that White T song by Peep and Tracy. Yeah, that White T is um, fire. Yeah, White T is fire. Yeah, yeah, right. Back. Would you um since you work with like High C, like would you work with anybody else like in like that collective that they're in? Uh, I work with Tracy. I, I've that'd had, be crazy bro, to get a song with Tracy, bro. That would be, that'd be, that'd yeah, be crazy. Yeah, it's crazy because. Um, long live my brother TK Summer. Um, he went on tour with him before, and um, what else? Uh, I did a song with SSG Kobe. I know SSG Kobe. I got music with him, so like I've gone to like a place with him before, and, and um, a team that I didn't go, I had a chance, but but I didn't go, and Tracy was there, so I would have seen Tracy, but I I didn't go, so I missed that. My other homies Crazy. got to see him. So yeah, I do a song with Tracy. I like um, damn. Who else I like? I like I see Tracy. I like uh, damn, bro. I I don't. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't listen to the whole collective, but I, I I'm, I'm familiar with some of them. It could um, be anybody else besides the collective. Like who? Bro, I like I like with? Clip. I like Clip. I do a song with Clip. Hell yeah. And. Yeah, uh, you saying like just underground? Yeah, period? yeah, underground period now, bro. Like since you're already like oh. since we're already on this topic, like who else would you work like right. work with? Might as well just um, get into that. Damn, I do a song with Xavier So Bass. That would be that would be super crazy. Yeah, I like I like what he's doing with the um with with his sound, bro. He's just there is you can't put a name. It's just bro, his. like like to me, like it sounds like like the Bay Area like uh, sound, but in the yeah. East Coast. I guess like, yeah. that's like what it sounds like. That's how like I think of it. I'm like, yo, this is like cause like the Bay mm-hmm. Area, like the like the bass and shit like that, bro. If you in the Bay, yeah. you go. That's what you cause like I love like the Bay Area music just because of that kind of shit. And then like hearing it yeah. so bass do it, I'm like, yo, this is like the East Coast version of like this shit. No like and it go it goes super crazy, bro. Like, I feel like yeah. Like, who, who else? Who else? Like who else? You got uh, hey, um, Xavier. I do a song with Summers. I don't know if he's underground bro or what, but I think he's I, I think he's know. like he's like teeter tottering between underground and like mainstream. Like I feel like he's like uh, like in in limbo right now. I think he can and then, mm-hmm. like I said, like the goal in my opinion on um, underground mainstream and stuff like that. I feel like the goal as an underground artist is to go to mainstream, go mainstream and pave the way for other artists to to make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People need to have a blueprint to follow. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we want like artists that we fuck with and that we like. We want Want them to make music for a long time and like we'd rather mm-hmm. artists make music not under pressure you know what i'm saying niggas don't like making music when they struggling bro <laughs> niggas yeah. like and, and then like like especially like when shit like not going right in their life bro like it fucks up the it fucks up like you know a lot of stuff you know what i'm saying and it fucks mm-hmm. up like the mental and shit and like me personally i would love to see you know uh underground artists go mainstream pave the way for other other underground artists to make it you know what i'm saying so, yeah, yeah exactly. like I, I i see no problem with that so like if summer is like yeah. tottering between you know mainstream and underground shit fuck it like he he like he can he can teeter totter if he wants to like because he paved that yeah. way i do i do a song with desire too i do a song with Sai most hated fire um who else slime dollars that'd be fine do i would be uh, crazy do i yeah 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 I'm looking at my lights right now. I got like a thousand lights in my sound. So, <laughs> uh, shit, Dirtball. That'd be crazy. I fuck with Dirtball, bro. Uh, who else? Glock Forty Spaz. Glock Forty Spaz would be crazy. Is hey, yo, is he, is bro, is he locked up or no? Is yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, damn bro. Hey, bro. Hey, yo, free Glock Forty, bro. Free Glock Forty. Free Glock Forty, bro. Damn. Uh, who else? Uh, damn, bro. It's it's. 
I listen to the some of the same shit over and over. Oh, Cedo. Cedo, oh, I, that would be crazy. Yeah, I got a couple of things in my shit, bro. I got a couple. I got a, I just a lot of yeah. artists I fuck with in my in my likes. Do you feel uh, like, uh, do, do you li- do you, have you ever listened to Thousand Bear Fani or one of the activists? Uh, I I never really got into the Uno shit, but I, I probably heard one song. It was cool, but I didn't really go towards the wave like that. Mm-hmm. I heard Thousand Band Funny. I do like that scene, gorgeous. Yeah. But I mean, that's pretty much all. I I know I'm aware of them, but I don't really know too much about them. Yeah, yeah. I feel like y'all would be a fire ass. Uh, like like y- y'all make like a fire ass like five song EP, bro. Honestly. Yeah, I like they I like they vibes. You said they cool. Yeah, yeah. I thought like uh, that'd be crazy. Uh, shit. Yeah, bro. I mean, it's a. I don't want to just say with whoever, bro, because it's artists that I really do fuck with hard. But I got a yeah, lot of yeah. shit in my life. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck. I fuck with like Summers and them. Camp, you know, Can Can and Can Can. Yeah, Can Can's fire. All the, all the great songs SoundCloud. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fire, man. How did you feel about the uh, like the the whole like XXX Tentacion era and shit like that? How, in like the Juice World era, like how did you feel like about like that time in music? What like what did you feel about music back then? Um, damn, shit, bro. I feel like they 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 made like a they came through and made a whole new wave, you know, for like the younger generation. Mm-hmm. Um, like getting closer to like the rock star shit, you know, like just on being on some like I don't give a fuck for real type shit, and just being really who you are. And that's I feel like that's what they brought and brought that you can like just do whatever you want with this shit. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I felt like uh when I saw like uh like the shows and stuff, like how the shows yeah. look, like like the underground, like the grittiness of it, bro, and like the rawness, like niggas getting like hype jumping up, the crowds was going crazy, bro. Hella yeah. niggas is on stage wilding out, bro, like like and I feel like with this like new generation of underground artists, I feel like that stuff is like slowly coming back, and like I think like the mm-hmm. like and I feel like you're doing the right thing by working with other artists like High C and shit, bro, and like and then, and like High C even you know extending that you know uh, like you know yeah. friendship with you as well. Like I feel like that is the way that that yeah. shit happens, bro. Like we gotta like because yeah. it was it's not only up. it was not only X on the stage. You had Ski Master Slum God. You had Kid Chunks on it on stage. You had Wi Fi's funeral on stage. It was so many yep. different mem- like people like that that weren't even a part of you know like his camp that was on stage. You know what I'm saying? And I think that like, yeah. a lot of people working together is just what's going to make this shit really grow. Like this shit, like I think a lot of y'all are like talented as fuck, bro. Like. It's just like, and that's yeah, and I'm not gonna lie though too, bro. Like I listen to a lot of people and shit, bro. But like, like I like doing my own songs too. Like, mm-hmm. but sometimes it'd be like it'll take for somebody to reach out and be like, "Yo, send me a song." Then we have to be like, it'll give me a challenge. Like, all right, let me let me make some shit that we can like both get on type shit. Because really, mm-hmm. I don't even do I don't really don't do features like that to be honest. Yeah. But when like people reach out and stuff like that, I'll be like. All right, let me see what we can cook up. Bro, and you see, bro, do, like, and, and you got to watch what happens when you do work with somebody because mm-hmm. you saw my reaction. And I was just, yeah. like, and you were the feature on someone else's album. So, bro, like, imagine, yeah. like, you working with other people and, and you go crazy on a song. Uh, bro, there, yeah. there could be another. I do, there, I do want to, I, I like doing that too, though. I love yeah. doing pieces. I'm not going to lie. When it's, when it's some fire shit, like, and, and honestly, I see reached out to me because, like, I was still on the verge of, like, in my mind, I'm like, all right, yeah, boom, I got the follow type shit, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. still got a week over, bro, in real life, you know what I'm saying? We got to get mm-hmm. he was He told me, like, all right, I was like, all right, bet. Like, and, and sometimes just, doing? and sometimes, like, just doing the song can get you, like, that face-to-face, you know what I'm saying? Because some mm-hmm. people just, like, want to just be like, yo, is this person really going to work with me or not, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, like, yeah, like, like people do want to see, like, the face-to-face thing, but sometimes people just, there's... Some people just have to get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's nah, what it's yeah, all, yeah, that's yeah. What it's it do be like that. It, like people have to get comfortable because, like, you don't know what. Exactly like, what it is. Yeah, because because like you don't know what that person's been through to make that person like want to you know feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, yeah, because me, bro, because it's like not even gonna lie, bro. Like I didn't did a whole lot with this underground shit, bro, and not really like it could be way more, but like I'm like this big. I'm not that. Big bro, so you know mm-hmm. I'm still I'm still coming myself, you know. Yeah, yeah. So like when niggas like that do that, I'd be like, all right, bet let's do it, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. But I try not to 
fuck that up and just let them lead the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, like, and, and you did the right thing, bro, because look, now, like, I'm like, yo, bro went crazy on that motherfucker. How many yes. other people were listening to that and they was like, yo, this nigga went crazy? You know what oh, I mean? Oh, shit, bro. Honestly, you, gotta, you like, had the best reactions that I, you had the best reactions that I seen, bro. Honestly, you made me subscribe and go, like, uh, watch your <laughs> other videos. So I fucked with your shit, bro. And, but, like, I saw, like, uh, two more. It was one nigga, bro. I don't, I don't know where he from or nothing, but, like, I watched it and I was like, like, he got to my part, and he was, like, kind of vibing a little bit, but then he was, like, nah, like, basically said my shit was weak, and I was, like, bro, he's tripping, bro, like, and he was, like, yeah, I can't do it, he had to, like, go to the next song, and I was, like, all right, whatever, bro, he's tripping, and then there was another dude, he was just vibing, but he fast-forwarded through every song and didn't really give opinions and shit, so I just felt like that was, those really was reaction videos, and you didn't give me a chance, so, like, you know. And, yeah, you know. yeah, like, and, and everybody has, like, their own style of doing, like, a reaction. Mm -hmm. I just like to take the approach of, like, I'm going to listen yeah. to, like, this whole entire song. I need to hear the yeah. bars. I need to, like, there's, like, a, you know, a checklist that I have, mm -hmm. you know. Can I listen to this in my car? Can I listen to this at work? Yeah. Can I listen to this exactly. at the gym? And, and like, <laughs> are the bars there? Does this person have a, a delivery? Does this person have believability and stuff like that? Like, there's a lot of things that, like, you know, are going through my head because I'm not only, like, you know, like an underground rap fan and stuff like that. I'm also, yeah. I, I like battle rap. Like, battle rap is like, like it's yeah. a checklist, too. You got to have believability, mm -hmm. delivery, bars, all that stuff. You got to have be able to write. Yeah. And, like, I'm not like a nigga that's, like, lyrical, miracle and stuff like that because you already know. <laughs> like, 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 I, I like, I like shit that's, like, you know, just, like, just lit. You know what I'm saying? I like yeah. some of that shit. Like, like, Yeet not the most lyrical nigga, but, like, he got yeah. some lit-ass shit, but he's also got, like, them one-liners. Yeah. Young Thug. It's all about, it's all about how you say it. What they yeah, saying is, yeah. like, how you do it is how you say it. So, yeah, you yeah. Know? That's what I'm saying. It's like, when you said, don't make me turn you to a myth, I was like, that shit, <laughs> I was like, yo, nigga, that shit sound believable. I was like, yeah. nigga, that shit sound crazy. Yeah. Like, that shit sound crazy as fuck, bro. Like, and, and like, it. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, like everybody got like their own like uh, whether they do like the reactions, but that's just how I do my shit. Like, I like yeah. The actual, I feel like, bro. I was like, this is an actual reaction, bro. Like, he listened to every song from one to end, no skips, no nothing. I was like, okay, that's it right there. Yeah, bro. Like, I, I really like to take time and like when I listen to like a like an artist. I'll it's not even just that one either. It's every. Everyone that you do, so I was like, all right, bro, bro, really do this, this shit, bro. I, bro, I'm bro, niggas, niggas <laughs> know. Look, bro, like before I was doing this, bro, I used to rap myself. So like, I, 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 yeah. I, I had a song with Braxton. I, you know, I used, I did music with Braxton Knight, yeah. Young Gravy. I, uh, I did music with, uh, uh, with Winter Time when he was working with Lil Yachty yeah. and shit like that. Like, and mm -hmm. then I, 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 I figured like I was like, yo, like, um, I like making music and shit because I was a music manager and stuff like that before I became an artist. Yeah. And I wanted people to do certain, like things like a certain way when I was a music manager. I'm like, yo, you got to rap like this. You got to do this. You got to do that. Because I can see that I saw that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like how I see like the stuff that you do. I'm like, yo, this dude, like, like he got like the, like the talent. He got like the, yeah. the bars and everything. And, and that was only a feature. And like, you know, <laughs> some people don't understand those kind of things. So I was just like, yo, I'm going to be a rapper. I want to rap. I start rapping. And then, you know, I, I do some features with a couple artists and stuff like that. I get good plays. But then I'm like, you know what? I just want to cover music. <laughs> I just want to cover yeah. this stuff because I already, yeah. already, like, I was already fucking with artists like Space Ghost Perp, you know, Raider Clan. Yeah. Like, like, I have, like, the knowledge from, like, you know, 2012 all the way to now. And, like, I, I actually give, like, you know, the music a chance because I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate yeah, the different, right. like, changes in sounds. It's not all going to sound right. the same. You, not everybody going to exactly. be a fair artist. But you got to appreciate, like, what the artist is giving. If some shit is trash, I'm going to say it's trash. I'm going to be like, yo, that yes. shit is, is, is not it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to yeah. I'm not gonna fully disrespect the artist and be like, yo, your shit is trash. I'm going to be like, yo, maybe you should change this. Maybe you should change that. Yeah. I'm going to actually right. give constructive criticism instead of saying this shit is ass. Because that's not a real, like, that's not real input, like, in my opinion. <laughs> that. Facts, I feel that. Cause like you it's can, the reason why it doesn't sound good. Yeah, yeah, like it's an actual reason. But like, if we're just saying it's trash, I just like, like I feel like that's just like shock value, in my opinion. You know, yeah, uh, fact. like because you can't really like explain why it's not good. You know, like because if you can explain to the to the artist why it's not good, then they can fix what they need to like. You know, to get that listener to be a fan. You know, because. Yeah. 
And that, that's what it's all about, bro. Like, and, and some people, I, 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 I don't know. Like, like I said, like people have the way that they want to do their reactions, and I just got the way I want to do my shit. Like, no, no, sh no shade to them, but like I do things my way. Y'all, like, they, everybody else can do like whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But and it's just like music, bro. Um, so what, what do you got like, you know, like coming up, like you know, in the future? What, what, what features can we expect? You know, um, man, and shit, bro. Uh, I got high C. He about to be on my tape. So I got another high high, another feature. We got how yeah, many? How this, many we got? Um, how we got many do we got in the tank, bro? Let me. How many we got um, in the vault shit. right now? I just sent him. This is exclusive. I just sent him the. I've been having it for a while, but I just sent him this. Um, what well, he just let me know last night that he finished the song. He's gonna send it to me soon. So, um, that I got Rockstar Cliff. Uh. What else? I don't even know what else right now, to be honest. So I'm just, I just be, because, you know, bro, I just be making music. Yeah. Just, you know, right now I'm working on my first tape I ever, ever did. My first project, I'm about to put on all platforms and shit like that. You, I've been you doing ever thought about, Have you ever thought about, uh, do you fuck with DJ Smokey? Um, I think I heard of him, bro, but I'm not really like fully in. Bro, uh, like, you got an AO tap, AO tap in with DJ. I feel like that would be a fire DJ to host your tape, bro. Like you gotta yes. tap, tap it with, I'm telling you, bro. Tap it with DJ Smokey, bro. Like he, like bro, like his shit is crazy. His shit is crazy, bro. Like I, that would be a crazy uh, um, collab, like with you and DJ Smokey. You fuck with the, uh, um, like Shed Theory or uh, Christ Dillinger and them. Uh, it's a, it's, it's alright if you I, never if it's alright. I heard, heard of Christ Dillinger. I heard of Christ Dillinger, but I have not. Nah, you say who before that? Shed Theory. No, nah, I haven't heard him before. Bro, I think that y'all. I haven't heard. Of, I heard the Christ Dillinger, but I never heard of someone before. Bro, bro, you gotta. Hey, I feel like y'all would make some crazy shit. Like they on like they they on the same shit as y'all niggas, bro. Like they, yeah. they they out there doing some crazy shit on the East Coast. I feel like I feel like you like because they fuck with Xavier so base and shit too. And I feel like y'all would all like, do, bro. Imagine a crazy ass big ass show. Uh, yeah. New York, bro. <laughs> That'd be crazy, bro. Be crazy. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go to New York. Yeah, bro, 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 that would be crazy, bro. Like and High C too, bro. High, Cause High C got uh, uh, he got songs with uh, Xavier So Bass, don't he? I think he got like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got like, he got some yeah, shit with yeah, him, yeah, yeah, yeah. That bro, that shit would be insane, man. He got that song called Guppy. Yeah, that yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, that shit's crazy, bro. Right. Like that would be crazy to see y'all like all doing that shit, bro. That should be fire. Um, so like, like you got the you got the, the mixtape coming. Like what else? What else we got? Yeah, music videos. What music videos do we uh, we got? Uh, we probably gonna do music videos. I don't got that many music videos just because I'm trying to get um I, I need it. I'm trying to get my team together. Like based off like basically what I need like videographers. I got a um cover artist now. Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to find a videographer right now. So I've just been looking at different ones to see who I want to work with right now. So probably yeah, videos. Um, I'm doing merch when the tape drop. Uh, and right now that's pretty much it. I'm trying to come up with a layout right now and shit. Oh, yeah. A rollout, I mean. So shit, yeah, that's pretty much it, bro. Okay. I'm just every day recording and shit. Are you watching? Do Do you watch things that like inspire you to like make music? Like what, like TV <clears throat> shows, anime, like like it could be cartoons. Like what, what shit like inspires you to like write like crazy bars or just even get like in the mode to like write music or anything? I just well shit. I, I watch interviews every day. Like just rapper interviews. Just whoever. Like it don't matter. Like. It most likely is like artists that I know or mm -hmm. fuck with, but even if it's like some shit, I'm going through my subscriptions and I'm just like, I read what it says and like, oh, let me click this, see what they talk about, see what they said, and I start hearing these stories and shit. And I'll be like, just inspired out of shit like that. I'll be inspired out of my life if anything too, but but like as far as that, just getting high and just and just just hearing other people, bro, like learning shit from other people, you know. Mm -hmm. Just watching interviews and shit like that. Like, I really don't watch TV like that. I just be on YouTube watching interviews and documentaries and fucking, That's you know, hilarious. shit like that. Yeah, and, yeah. and shows and TV shows like about like, you know, like artists on the road and shit like that. Mm. Bro, that shit is inspiring. Seeing like someone like chase a dream while you're chasing yours. 
and like yeah, them, bro, like, like them like progressing, and you're like progressing too. Whether it be mm-hmm. like in small increments or large increments, like it's just like it's just a matter of like the journey. Like the journey is just like, and then watching someone else's journey, and then you're on your own journey. It's just like it gets you just inspired, but it gets you lit, it gets you fired up to like just be like, yo, yeah. I'm ready to do some shit now, bro. Like it just Facts. keeps you going. It's, Facts, fuel, it's yeah. fuel. It's fuel, bro. I feel you. When I watch, when I watch, like when I hear like. Like when I just sometimes I just go late night. Like there, say there's an artist I fuck with. Sometimes I try to go to their first video ever posted, mm-hmm. and try to get inspiration. Or sometimes, bro, I listen to old old music like 2016 Dexter and shit like that. You know, <laughs> all Dexter. all that old shit, bro. Because that's <laughs> yeah, the era. That, that's the like I go back and listen to old shit. To be honest, that should have been what I said first. Cause yeah. that's what I go do. I go back and vibe off of real old plug and be and shit like that mm-hmm. and be like yeah i need some inspiration <laughs> bro, like, yeah, off, yeah. off the famous dex is yeah, that's fire bro <laughs> like yeah cause, cause famous I'm, dex and all that just all the old soundcloud shit bro, bro i just I'm, go listen to all that for inspiration just go back and listen to the old vibes and shit bro because like, yeah I live I live two hours outside of Chicago, bro. And like that yeah. whole movement was crazy, bro. Like the whole Chief Keef era, like the bro, like the little JoJo and shit, bro. That shit was insane, bro. Yeah. Like that shit was like bleeding out into like our city and shit. Like it was it was crazy, bro. Like it was like the whole movement was just like insane, bro. Like uh, the the famous decks coming out and then you know, like the Chief Keef and shit, bro. It was just crazy, man. Like it is crazy, that's like true, you know, Dexter is what made me just be like, you know what, bro? Like, nigga, anybody can do this shit. If Dexter is coming out, <laughs> like, like, this nigga just don't care. Like, he's just being himself. Like, you know, like, don't play with him. But, like, nigga, he just being himself, bro. He not mm-hmm. being how everybody else is. Like, he's just making mm-hmm. his own lane. Mm-hmm. So I fucked with that. And I was like, yeah, bro. It's fire, man. Um, did you ever, like, fuck with, like, video games and shit? Like, what, what, what video games did you ever play? Hell yeah, I fuck with games, bro. Like, I know about so many games, bro. Like old games too. Like, um, but like, like what game system you talking about? Because I know about like Nintendo sixty four games and shit like that, bro. Go 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 through like the main ones that you like that stuck out to you. <clears throat> All right, so like on old shit, Nintendo sixty four. I like this game called Bad Fur Day. Conquers Bad Fur Day. Have you heard of that? No, nah, but I did have a Nintendo 64, but I, I never played that. Bro, when you get a chance, bro, you got to go do your re- your research, your homework on. <laughs> do your homework on, man. Conquest Bad Fur Day, bro. It's some fly shit, yeah, bro. It's, yeah, it's, bro. It's, it's, <laughs> this squirrel, bro, it's like all cartoon animated. It's old as fuck. So basically, but the graphics is like good for the time. Mm-hmm. So like basically, bro, it's just squirrel. I forgot the story, but it's just squirrel. It's just a savage ass squirrel. I patched up and shit, walking around with a chainsaw, but it's a story, like, there's something that happened with his family and shit like that, and he's trying to save his family, but he's going through hell, you know what I'm saying? He got guns and shit like that. He's going through hell to get his family saved, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's some shit. And, um... That's a crazy-ass game, bro. Yeah, bro, that was probably, like, that's one... That's crazy. Like, that, that shit rated M, too, so that's probably, like, one of the first games I played that was on some savage shit, like, that. A fucking hard. squirrel with a chainsaw arm, like... Yeah, nigga guns got guns. Shit, bro, like, yeah, bro, shit that's fire. That shit crazy, that shit crazy. And then, so, uh, what else, like, PS... Bro, honestly, I played everything, bro, like... But I'm on, I'm on PlayStation, nigga, bro, I like PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation's fire, man. I like, I like, um... Midnight Club. I was a fan of Midnight Club. Man, LA. Oh, and Midnight, Midnight Club. Club. Yeah, Midnight Club is gas. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah bro. And, and online, I feel like they should bring that back too, bro. Like, and bring the only one feature. Did you ever that shit crazy. Need, did you ever fuck with Need for Speed? Nah, not nah. really, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so I did, bro. Like, early days, bro. Like, fucking most wanted like the gamecube version and uh-huh, shit bro yeah, but after yeah. that i was just like hell nah yeah, in my yeah, club yeah. this is my club right here yeah, it's in my club yeah, yeah. I, I, I like how the you got so much selection to do uh you know in my club and it's like rims and shit bro you know mm-hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's at the rims i swear to god <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, they just bro. focus on street racing and even speed. They don't care about the other shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what you fucking with like now, like like in in twenty twenty 
Uh, I'm about to be fucking with that GTA Six. Man, hey, oh, but that's not until 2025. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. man. So I ain't gonna lie though, bro. Like I got a PS5, bro, but I don't play games like that, bro. Literally, I just use it for like Netflix YouTube and, shit. and, and <laughs> yeah, Netflix. And, like I, hey, uh, maybe some hey. a little 2K, bro. But I really don't even be on 2K, bro. I just Sometimes Fortnite, bro, but not really, bro. Yeah, it's just yeah. it's like every once in a blue moon. I got a little PSP, but I just lost it. So to be honest, I don't know where that shit is. <laughs> but that yeah. shit had like GTA and the nightclub. You know what I'm saying? That's what, when I did play. That's what I was on. Yeah, yeah. Um. So would you would you say that you're like enjoying like the Cali lifestyle right now? Like you fuck with it? Yeah, bro. I fuck with it a lot, bro. I feel like it grew me as an artist a lot, bro, and and brought me around shit that I never would have been around if I would have never made that move. Or just just realize that literally all you gotta do anybody can do this shit, bro. All you gotta do is move and and do it. Hell yeah. Um. So, uh, any, any, uh, like recent, like, do we have any, like, uh, singles coming out or anything like that? Or are we, we just holding out for the, for the, for the project? <laughs> nah, I'm just holding out on the project. It's the only, um, the, well, shit, let me see. Well, maybe I might draw some shit with high C clip before the tape, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm still, I gotta send him an open. I'm waiting on him to send me one. But if anything dropped, it's gonna be that. Or I might just have to put it on the tape. Because the tape going to be 15 songs on. So, like, shit. All different shit, like, other than what I have made before. It's just it's just a whole different level. It's just brand new. Yeah. Everything. Bro, that's going to be crazy, man. I can't wait to hear it, man, for real. Um, I appreciate it, bro. Is, it, is there anything you want to plug? Uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. My my Instagram, self-made, self Uh, What else? YouTube, just self made side, Saudi. What else? Uh, I'm thinking nothing else. I don't be on shit. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't really use Twitter X no more. I really yeah. do use that shit. You can get up with me on threads, bro, but I don't be on that shit either. Yeah. Well, I, I'll engage. Hell but yeah. yeah, just get at me on the ground, man. Fucking YouTube, SoundCloud, all platforms, however you listen to your music. Shit, you know. Yeah, tape dropping had two for myself. H two four M on the way. Uh, yeah, probably like January, February. I'm pushing for like January, but February is latest, bro. I'm trying to make everything right, get this merch and shit, and make this shit go right because it's my first project. Hell yeah, man. Um, I appreciate you, you know, coming on the platform, man. I really, I, I enjoyed this shit, man. I enjoyed interviewing you, man. She was yeah, I appreciate story, it, bro. Man, I enjoyed it. She was dope as fuck, man. I can't wait to see what you do in the future, man. Uh, you, like I said, man, you earned a you earned a fan. That that that, I that. bro, that that feature was crazy, bro. I definitely think you should keep on working with more artists and stuff, bro. Because I feel like you know mm -hmm. I, you, you could just you know you kill any kill any nigga, you know kill any song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I, you go crazy, bro. Um, I, I drop I drop on my archive too. I might be dropping like after I drop my tape, I might just drop like a few old songs that's not on SoundCloud. But I got songs that's like on it's an archive that might not think it's me, but it's mine. So you if you if it's songs that people want to hear, this I got hella songs. My SoundCloud it's it's a lot. So everything's on SoundCloud. Most of it is on there, not all plats. But if you really want to hear some self made side, y'all can go. Go to SoundCloud and really most of it is me. It's only one nigga, another nigga named Self Made Sad, but that's not the real one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I got the majority of the songs anyway, so yeah, shit. yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, this is the Scotty Show, man. Self Made Sad, I appreciate you, homie. Thank you for coming out, man. Shit, peace out, mm. homie. One hundred, appreciate you, bro. Hey, okay, hey. Uh,